Yo, DJ, what's up? Just wanted to show you what I've been working on lately. Uh, so, I've shown you level before, right? We just have a bunch of uh, candidates and a list, you know, people who might be considering for jobs, store information about, about them, uh, track their progression through the interview process, you can see the number of people in various parts of the process, filter it down to them, uh, you know, schedule interviews or put feedback about them, right? So there's all kinds of activity um, that's going on around people and, uh, you know, they're applying for different jobs or interviewing for different jobs. So we've been building this new reporting feature and I wanted to show you some of the components that we built uh, to make it work and uh, just kind of how it works a little bit too. I think those are some really cool pieces, uh, some, some great interaction. Um, yeah, so this is it. Basically, you can get an overview of you know your account's activity. And this, this is sort of a new report we're rolling out where we look at conversion rates. So what that really means is like how of all the decisions that you make um, around people during different phases of the, of the process, right? So like however many phone screens that you make decisions on or phone interviews or on-site interviews, those outcomes is what we're looking at. So 22% or 11 candidates convert to go forward to the next stage or to becoming hired. Um, you know, here 8% um, get archived, so they're kind of dismissed, right? Like they're uh, rejected, or, or those people who uh, like pull out of the process. And then you can also move people backwards um, if you decide that for whatever reason, you know, you want to interview them for a different job, let's say. So through this compact table, we can give people a sense, you know, over time they can switch. Um, what time period they want to think about or change it manually. Um, they can get a sense for you know what the distribution is, like how things are going. And then they can actually see exactly who those people are by clicking on this, you know, filtering it down and getting to a list. You can of course sort this list by various criteria, check out some you know more detailed things interview feedback, who's responsible for them, also their timeline, you know, what jobs they might be interviewing for, and what, you know, their progress through that has been. So this is really fun because it um, involves a lot of this time data, which I'll show you some behind the scenes stuff in a second. But I wanted to show, you know, another major part of this, which is filtering down so we can filter to like all the candidates that coworkers responsible for get that funnel, see those candidates, export them to CSV, get some more. We can filter them by how they got here. Another really interesting thing is I clear all these filters. This sentence sort of like. Uh, you know, Tangle, Brett Victor thing. You can say, you know, of, of all the candidates who entered the pipeline, 6% made it, you know, get hired. But what about people that make it to a phone interview, right? Like, only 4% of those get hired. And if you want to see how many phone interviews make it to offer, only 4%. But all the people who make it to onsite, 20% make it to offer. So you can kind of ask yourself these different questions of like, oh, if people go on site, like how many of them end up being underqualified, right? So that's a good sign. That means that if uh, you, you don't want a lot of underqualified people taking up uh, a lot of time in a game. So this, you know, is a flexible thing that um, from a you know, UI perspective is pretty simple. It's just a couple of drop downs with uh, the right things in the list and then the calculation, like these are good these two numbers get returned from the theory and we can see where those underqualified people here. This is all fake data of course. Clear that out. So the thing I want to show you behind the scenes is 
if these are just a bunch of derby components and this is them all rendered in a different um, what do you call it like app derby app but you see that you know they look pretty much the same and then what I wanted to show is that the reason this is in a different app is it's sort of a um, prototyping environment or you know like debugging so I can see the actual query that we make here you know and accounts have like all these different things uh, like overqualified is represented by this ID and um, you know I want to see the query before I send it off to the server to, to make it go do the, the work that returns the numbers um, you know, this helped me kind of build this out, hook these things up so that these indicators of breadcrumbs show up when those are there. Um, yeah. Also, these conversion rates, right? You see this has a, um, the same component, just not styled quite as, as nicely. And, uh, but the interaction looks just the same. These percentages and these numbers actually calculated from this origin destination matrix, which you can see new applicants in the lead, new applicants in reached out, like you can see who's going from which stage to which stage. And it actually is interesting because it makes this matrix here where everything above the zeros is people moving forward in time. And most of the things that you expect is like going from one stage to the next because they're in order are right above the, the diagonal. And anything below this would be people going backwards and offer back to me. So you can imagine the different um, stages that are also up here. And then these are from a stage to a, a different archive reason. All right. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, we just put this out. It's uh, been, you know, crazy trying to do it this fast, but uh, it's really working for us. It's it's a lot of fun to click on and, and play with, and really kind of get to the bottom of what's going on from the aggregations. And I mean, the the infrastructure that we made to enable this is uh, pretty sweet too. So anyway, I'm gonna take off and uh, you know, catch you at the next video later.